All right, let's get back over to Mike Apple with a look at today's top business news. Mike, good morning to you. Yeah, good morning, Melanie. We're watching the price for oil jump for a second day. The Canadian prices for oil Monday moved higher by more than 30 percent in a single day after Alberta's surprise move late Sunday to announce a production rollback. The big question, though, going forward is, will that have unintended consequences on the market in 2019? Some think that this could lead to more investor chill, specifically from foreign investors who are worried about, well, the changing guidelines within the Canadian energy sector. We're also expecting the price for gasoline set to climb later in the week. Could big tobacco be getting into the cannabis market? Talk this morning that Kronos Group is in negotiations with Altria, the maker of Philip Morris cigarette brands. No deal confirmed yet, but we did see Kronos Group jump by more than 10% in Monday's trade just on the speculation that a big transaction could be forthcoming. We've already heard from the big uh, producers in alcoholic beverages. Some have already invested in the cannabis space. We're also watching this morning the uh, time of year where we get the fearless forecasts for pretty much everything. The uh, latest today is from the uh, uh, University of Guelph and Dalhousie University, the food price guide for 2019. And we're expecting higher prices, as you might expect, in the new year, specifically for uh, fresh produce. Veggie prices expected to go up anywhere from 4 to 6 percent. A lot of factors at play here. Uh, meatless diets. Uh, the climate change affecting the growing of crops. It's also going to be an El Nino year, and that's going to lead to more volatile weather. Likely, we are expecting, however, according to this forecast, for the first time in nine years, meat prices expected to fall again uh, due to changing consumer habits. Overall, it's expected to cost the average family of four an additional $400 next year for the grocery bill. Uh, at a, over $12,000 when you add it up. It's a whole lot of money, Roger, that uh, we pay yearly for groceries and not going to get any cheaper next year. At least that's the talk. We'll see if, in fact, the uh, forecast proves out to be true. All right. Well, we need it. What can you do? Thank yeah, you very much, right. Mike. Thank you. Cheers. Have a great day.